Well, Google's back at it again, guys. They just casually drop the best AI video generator I've ever seen. I mean, what is going on here? It's called Lumiere. I want to start off here by taking a look at this two-minute demo video that they've created. After we watch this video, I want to go through why I think that this video has so much significance. It is a telltale sign of something, and I think you guys will agree with me. All right. So yeah, Google just comes out here and casually wipes the floor with every single other video generator out there. I mean, it's absolutely insane. This generation, well, you know, it might not be super high resolution as we see here. It is so realistic. The movement looks incredible. It looks like almost a real video. Genuinely shocking stuff. It looks way better than any other video generator I've ever seen to date. And I've been keeping track of these things ever since they were a thing. Check out this butterfly one. Just a really Really nice clear photo of a butterfly it looks so realistic so crystallized this girl walking in the woods is absolutely insane i guess this is what they're doing with all that youtube video data right they're they're training these ai video generation models like we've never seen before the fireworks look crazy it's just absolutely crazy so i think this video you'll notice about it it's it's got this level of product to it hey we have text to video hey you know this is all the stuff you can do with it look how exciting Exciting. It is stylized generation. Here's how you do stylized generation. This is what it means. It's it's interesting. Usually they don't even make videos like this unless it's going to be a product. So I think in 2024 we will see this thing touch us. We will be blessed with Lumiere video generation from Google. So yeah, let's break it down though. So the first thing is text to video, your regular thing where you just type in a piece of text and then you get a video based off that text. And it looks phenomenal. Astronaut on Mars walking around, dog driving in a car wearing funny sunglasses glasses very coherent very stable video we've never seen it stable like this before flying through temple ruins we have that drone-esque shot very very coherent then we've also got image to video and this is image to video like you've never seen before usually you just upload a video and it kind of makes it move around a little bit with you know runway ml or pika labs not with this one we can prompt it and now we can actually have the actual painting wink and smile at you and it's very very realistic there's no telling if these generations by the way are cherry picked and i know a lot of you are going to comment that saying like these are probably cherry picked generations google's known for hyper inflating their ai products and yes that is true but still i've never seen results ever this good out of any video generator yet so this means that this model does have some capabilities that we just haven't seen before let me know if you disagree with me and maybe you can link me some examples if you do disagree with me because i'd love to see them but this absolutely is a showstopper in my book so far time lapse oil painting of a starry night with clouds moving i mean that is just absolutely ridiculous this generation is so so realistic looking i'm just an absolute huge fan of stuff like this and i 
love to see this technology evolve. So we got stylized generation as well, so we can input a reference image and then we can type our own text prompt and it will do video generation that has that style reference image. So a horse galloping and it's obviously this bright blue mushroom color, you know, or a bear dancing there. We've got the bear dancing and the bear looks really, really good. It's just the movement. The level of movement here is something that we've never seen before. It's not like this vague movement stuff. It's very attenuated and specific to what we are asking for. I love this one too. This is like all in this same 3D pop style. Really, really nice stuff. It all looks like a 3D generated video or we can even do the same prompt with a reference painting. Looks amazing. I mean, I am just absolutely in love with stuff like this. And again, it does come from Google. So people are super skeptical and I totally get that. So yeah, they also have this thing that they're calling cinemagraphs where you can take a photo, highlight a portion of the photo and just animate that. So you're essentially taking a photograph and animating it. This is something we've seen before with AI, but maybe not to this level. This is some good animated photos. And then also we have video editing. And this is another like show stopping feature that we just saw with Pika Labs. But this honestly looks like it downright competes with Pika Labs at the highest of levels. We can change this girl's dress. It really, really moves with her movement. This is some complex stuff. It's really, really well done. Just the level of training and understanding that the model has to have to take all of this movement that previously was there and then convert it to the flowers and her running with the flowers is crazy to me. It's it's absolutely nuts. AI is just moving at such a rapid rate. It's literally not even February of 2024 and we're already seeing show-stopping models such as this one, or at least they appear to be show-stopping models. It remains to be seen until the public can get their hands on these things. It also seems that Google Research did like this bear dancing as well. Pretty awesome, man. So yeah, this is a paper. So it's a it's a full paper that you can read if you're into this kind of research. And they have this website that's a little bit interactive that you can mess around with and see more examples than we saw in just the video and get a really nice close up look at them. The video generation, yeah, when you look at the text of video here on the website, it looks a little bit more low resolution than you'd expect from something like Pika Labs or Runway ML. But I think that video upscaling is good enough that you could just upscale these and they'd essentially be the same quality as what you currently get with Runway ML or Pika Labs. But the movement here is so much better. I love the drizzling of this ice cream over here. The walking astronaut is really good. This girl, like I said, in the woods is astonishingly good, especially with the hair movement there. Like, are you freaking joking? This dog is really coherent, really stable. There's not a lot of warping. There's not a lot of that that typical annoying stuff that we have right now with text to video going on. Now we do have this issue here with this golden retriever puppy where he's just kind of running in place so we can see that this model still is very limited and honestly if I had to take a guess these are probably all cherry picked examples because that's typically what happens when AI research comes out they just pick the best of the best examples to show off and that's sort of that but still if this is the best of the best I'm very impressed. Got the glass filling up there in a very realistic fashion. I really really like like these yellow flowers blowing in the breeze in this very natural way. It looks like a real video. We've got the red Lamborghini here. This is significant because typically with image or video generation models, cars are super difficult. And this is the most coherent car I have ever seen in AI video generation, point blank, period. This fish down in the corner is also very significant as well because guess what? As that fish moves past, the background stays stable. Typically when you have a big object that covers most of the screen, move past in these AI videos, the background will change after it moves because it can't keep track of whatever is going on. The AI model doesn't have that kind of fidelity. And now we are starting to see that come through with this Google Lumiere model. Uh, we got this uh, cute pug here with the headphones on. It's kind of a scary generation overall. You can see it's not perfect, but it does have that level of realism inside of the pug's face and his eyes. I just think that the rest of his body is a little bit weird and the headphones are kind of melding with his body. We've got the chocolate muffin rotating around, which is really cool. Cute mouse typing on a keyboard here. We've got a poodle riding a penny board, but it actually looks more like a hoverboard and we can't even see the wheels there. We got the confident teddy bear surfing. That's pretty insane as well. The food is starting to look great too. And food is one of those things typically with any image AI model, it starts to look good first. There's a lot of photos of food out there and it starts to learn what food photography or food videography is supposed 
supposed to look like quite quickly. That's why the muffin and the sushi here look quite appetizing. The silhouette of a wolf. It totally understands what a silhouette is supposed to be, man. I am just so darn impressed. I wish I could get my hands on this thing. So let's move down here, take a closer look at the image to video capabilities. Obviously, this is all images, I believe, generated with Google Image In 2. That's what I would assume that they would use. And, you know, the quality is certainly there to be Google Image In 2. And I think that you do get a little bit more of a quality bump when you're doing image to video. And that is typical of these video models. Like you'll see that with Runway ML, you'll see that with Pika Labs as well. There are some limitations though. We know what the Mona Lisa is supposed to look like. So when she's tired and yawning in this example, she looks a little bit creepy when she's actually yawning. But bringing this photo to life is really, really awesome. The soldiers raising the flag on a windy day. That is amazing. Or, oh, zooming through a nebula. That is a really, really great example of this as well. They have such creative examples here. I love it. B with a jar of honey. We got the monkey drinking coffee working on the laptop. Here's Bigfoot walking through the woods. Again, it wasn't able to make Bigfoot walk in a realistic way. He's kind of just walking in place, which is sort of a problem. Giraffe eating grass looks amazing. The ocean looks fantastic. The car driving on the beach also looks really, really good. Oh man, I would love to upload some of my photos and try to bring them to life with this thing. Here's some examples of the stylized generation. We upload a stylized reference image and it's able to take that and then animate a bunch of different text prompts with it. Truly incredible. They have a ton of examples for this one. Wow, the dolphin looks really, really great down there. You can see the slight reflectiveness of the dolphin skin, which is what you would expect from that. The predictions here are just absolutely phenomenal. It is great for, for trying to create work based off of something you may have already done. They're attempting here to portray realistic, diverse, and coherent motion, which is a pivotal challenge in video synthesis. Yeah, that's a great summary. So they say existing models synthesize distant keyframes followed by temporal super resolution. And this approach inherently makes global temporal consistency difficult to achieve. And that is, you know, the thing that I'm noticing about this model is that it has very good global temporal consistency. That goes back to what I was mentioning with the fish. So they deploy here a spatial and temporal upsampling model that leverages pre-trained text to image diffusion. Their models directly generate a full frame rate, low resolution video by processing in multiple space time scales. We demonstrate state of the art text to video generation results and show that our design easily facilitates a wide range of content creation tasks. So yeah, the proof is in the pudding there. It's definitely a different model structurally from what we see from Runway MS or Pika Labs. Wow, it is absolutely awesome to see this, man. Cinemagraphs are also cool. I think this is probably the least interesting of the bunch, although this one's really, really nice with the water down here. In painting, this is possibly the most interesting part. This is really awesome where they show the output video and they, a portion that they just block off, so they're severely hemorrhaging the model, forcing it to do really difficult tasks, but I think that it's doing a fantastic job here. Like, the pizza, I wouldn't be able to tell. The dog, maybe I I'd be able to tell a little bit, but that's really impressive. And honestly, this is awesome too, like where we have something pouring and then it has to hallucinate something being poured onto, right? Did a really great job, very consistent there. This is going to be amazing when we can have this integrated into video editing processes and when the masses can have access to something like this because it really, really brings down to earth the possibility of creating our own creative works without the limitation of expensive equipment or a lot of training or knowledge, right? The in-painting is even more wild down here, just replacing things entirely. All of these dresses look pretty fantastic. Obviously, the source video is a little bit higher fidelity there, but still, these are quite amazing. We've got the tiara, the sunglasses, the red scarf, the purple tie, looking really great. This kind of feels like that Dolly 2-esque shock moment, like when Dolly 2 was first announced, and we were like, wow, this is what text-to-image generation truly is. So I'd love to see how this kind of creates some competition in the space and gets Pika Labs and Runway ML maybe, you know, a little bit more active. They're doing a really nice showcase here. Google Imogen had a showcase similar to this, but they also had a YouTube video for this, which Imogen didn't, I, I believe. This leads me to believe, I think in 2024, we will see this come out as a product. Google does have that track record that makes everyone worried, but this is the kind of influence that I'm looking for, for sure, inside of the AI space and the AI market as a whole. Even if you hate Google, even if you think that this model is complete BS, you got to keep in mind that this will keep Runway ML and Pika Labs on their toes, keep them evolving, keeping them changing. We want competition in this space because it's going to drive the prices down for us 
consumers, and it's only going to drive that quality upwards. Just for some context here, guys, this is the first AI video generator that I ever saw. It's called Cog Video, and you can see we have like little low frame rate four second generations here. They're not too bad. There's some basic movement there, but it's nowhere near the quality that we see today. This more or less is basically a glorified AI image generator, but I think this just proves that we have come so, so far. That's just my take on it. That's my thoughts on it. Some of you guys asked me about this specifically, so I wanted to bring it to you as quickly as I could. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know what you think is the future of AI video generation and if Google is legit about this. Thank you so much for watching. More content coming in the future, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.